is there anything that you want to tell me about you before we start? Hmm. I guess that uh, I love you. <laughs> I already know. <laughs> I love you, Sid. Oh, I love you. <laughs> I'm so glad we're doing this. I could honestly cry. Me too. Me too. <laughs> My first question is, have you always wanted to be an artist? Um, yes, I think I was like three years old when I was doing like mock interviews with my mom and my dad would be recording and stuff. And we just like sit there and have so much fun. And I pretend to be like Alicia Keys and I would like sing and dance and run around in my little tutu. And I was just crazy as a kid, like super hyper and very outspoken. Um, teachers never knew what to do with me. The kids <laughs> kind of understand Amazing. me, but they were very entertained and stimulated, but I was just always entertaining. I always wanted to like, you know, let people know that I have a voice. I was very much an individual in that way. Completely. And you definitely still are. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I've never, it has not changed. Basically. So in 2022, um, we're all very obsessed with our phones and social media and posting and liking and everything that that comes with. So how do you feel after deleting your Instagram? <clears throat> I feel like a million bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I, I honestly like really feel great. <laughs> so it's just like the social media world, right? It's so mm -hmm. interesting. And I was like, found Instagram to be really, really fun. I love like posting and, you know, it's like the inner girly girl in me. I'm like, ooh, this is so cute. What is my girlfriend doing? What are my friends up to? Like, I think I've always had a healthy relationship. There was no particular reason as to why I was like, I really got to get rid of this. Like it wasn't so toxic. It's just, it is still an energy exchange. And I think when we're living in a world where we're constantly every second, almost consuming information, whether we're scrolling, whether we're looking at the TV, texting, billboards, like we're always consuming information. And I found that it was giving me anxiety. And I have like a good interaction with people who follow me. Everybody's like, you know, thankfully been very kind and that's really nice. But also just kind of came to this point where um, I had never deactivated my Instagram and I just wanted to be private. I just wanted to have this privacy because it's like, it's public and people are looking at you, you know? And I just, that kind of creeps me out sometimes. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus.